Hey Andre, it's always exciting, in fact super exciting when there's a new truck in the world. And today we have a new truck, the all new 2024 Ford Ranger. And we're gonna be talking about the most important thing of course about the new Ranger and that's its engine. No, we're not talking about the engine in this video because we have a whole video that I did showing every feature, including the engines, which is three of them. But I want to talk about price. Where is that video? That's at oldtfl.com. Uh, we have full coverage of the new Ranger. I want to talk about price, 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 because you might be surprised by how much it costs. Yeah, but not just price of the new Ranger, but how it compares to the other mid-sized trucks. So yeah. as I'm sure you guys know, the Ford Ranger is all new. Uh, for 2024 uh, and it compares and competes to trucks like the Tacoma, uh, trucks like the Gladiator. So in this video we're going to go through uh, the price difference. So Andre, since you got to go to Detroit and actually get hands on with it, why don't you take it away and I'll ask you the stupid questions, which is it, what I do best. Well yeah, so right now of course we have a current Ranger, right? Um, it's right here, I'm showing it on my screen. Uh, and this new generation T6 Ranger actually has been on sale in other countries. But now we get our own version of it. And the starting price on the new Ranger. Oh, hold on. How much is the starting price on the current Ranger? That's very important. Yes. Uh, because you can have it as a short cab, and the short cab no longer is available for the all new truck. All right, so get rid of that. So, so check this out. So, starting price used to be 27400 bucks before destination. But that was a short cab. That was an extended cab. Yeah. And this price was twenty nine thousand five eighty five mm -hmm. plus destination. The starting price was thirty one thousand eighty. Yep. But the new one is thirty four thousand one sixty. So they cranked it up by about three k. Yes. And I'm a bit surprised by this mm. because they're using the same engine. Of course, the interior is refreshed, all new. The styling is new. Uh, many things changed, but I think that's a big increase. Can I throw you a curveball? Yeah. Do you know how much the destination is? Has that increased? Uh, yes, it increased by hundred dollars. Oh, that's so not it bad. used to be about fourteen hundred dollars. Yeah. Now it's fifteen hundred dollars. That's also increasing. So, and the, what I'm talking about here is including destination. All right. So, are you getting any more features? Did they say anything like that? Sometimes, you know, what they'll do is they'll do this uh, shell game where you know they'll say cost more, but you get more. Well, yeah. I mean, um, every truck is kind of increasing in its feature content, right? Well, let's, you, let's, you show the, let's, show, let's show the new one. I think people want to see it. Um, there it is. There's Andre. And if you really want to get a hands-on, close look at this new truck, which to me looks like a grown-up uh, Frontier, I'm sorry, a grown-up Maverick in some ways, uh, uh, go over to Alt TFL where we just put up a video talking about exactly what you get for your starting price of uh, 34,160 or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so lots of digital screens inside, right? Bigger screens, more technology. So I think that's what Ford would say. You know, we're putting, putting more driver assistance tech into this truck, uh, better interiors, and I like the interior. But we have to talk about competition, right? Right. And who is the class best seller? Well, it's got to be the Tacoma. Uh, yeah, they they a, sell over 200,000 units a year. <laughs> it's the Taco. Yeah. Um, and let's let's bring up the Taco really quick. Okay. Um, so the Taco is right here. Uh, base Taco current, we don't have the new one yet. Right. Right. That's also coming very soon. Uh, that's coming very soon, within a, almost 10 days. Yeah. Uh, but the new one has, I mean, the current Taco has a 2.7 uh, 2 liter basic engine that's been around forever. It has a short cab available. It has even a manual transmission and some options. And it starts at, including destination, 30,415. Dude, that's a, also a, almost a three grand difference. Yeah, but that one is, you know, now. And, long in the tooth. And, and you know, like, like 10 days from now, we're gonna find out exactly how much more the new starting price is. And before we get to the next one, um, the Colorado, yes. let me ask you this. So it starts at 34, what, is, what can it go up to? Well, so um, it can go up to the Raptor. Ooh, so there is a Raptor version. The new Ranger Raptor is going to be available in the U.S. It's exciting because we've never had one, mm -hmm. right? But let's wait a few minutes. Okay, right. Okay. So what's the next? So Colorado. Colorado. It's new, right. right? So it's a new generation of Colorado. Yeah. Uh, you know, we, I've been doing a lot of uh, videos about this because I actually bought one. Uh, but the new Colorado starts, I think you can see it here. 30,695. By the way, we have to give credit to General Motors. Yeah. On the configurator, it's very clear 
that it's including net price includes destination. Ah, that's great. They're, Some of them try to show it to you later, right? Yeah. I think th that's the way it should be done. Destination charge should be part of the MSRP. It shouldn't be. Yes, it's, it's not, not like, oh, by the way. Oh, by the way. <laughs> and then when you go in the dealership, you feel like you can't uh, really negotiate that, right? right. Uh, but, Andre, does that include cruise control? No. <laughs> Sorry, I had to go there. <laughs> no, it does not. This place does not include cruise control. In the Ranger? Uh, does it include I, I think cruise it control? Includes it. Okay, all right. Uh, that's <laughs> I a know. painful it's point. It's a painful point. Sorry. Okay. Let's keep going. What's the next truck? So the next one is really Frontier. Okay. So the Frontier uh, starts at, and you could see it here, um, Nissan does a pretty good job at this, 32,005 bucks. So also less than the new Ranger. Uh, but it's also new ish. It's been, ref of course, all new in 2022. Yeah, so about a year and a half old. Um, and it has a V6. It has a lot of interesting features as well. Uh, but once again, see this Ranger is growing in price. Next up is... Gladiator? Ooh, the Ridgeline. Oh, the Ridgeline. You're going to go there? Uh, right. Well, so many people, of course, tell us that this is not a truck. Let I me... disagree. It's got a bed. Uh, it's a very nice little truck. It's a little pickup, yeah. I would say. Yeah, it well, it's a mid-size pickup. Right. But you know what? We recently did a story, a uh, sales story, and people are buying these at great numbers. Yeah, they're, they're growing. increasing their sales. It's pretty incredible. But $38,800 for an all-wheel drive new Honda Ridgeline. You know, I have a theory about this. What? I have a theory why the Ridgeline isn't selling more. So once upon a time, um, the truck world was all truck guys and gals, and they wanted big old tires and... Why am I talking Southern? <laughs> Maybe because you guys in the South like big old tires. We like them here too. Anyway, they wanted the trucky trucks, right? The ones that were lifted, the ones that were... The square-shouldered ones. Right, the ones that were yeah. going to go bashing in the mud. And then the little Maverick came around. And all of a sudden, a whole new group of buyers kind of opened up their eyes to the possibility of owning a truck uh, that's not necessarily the truckiest of trucks. And mm -hmm. I think that brought the Ridgeline more into the spotlight because let's face it if you were to just look at it this way right that's basically kind a pilot, a pilot. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a pilot with a bed <laughs> yeah and and now people are saying you know what maybe i want a truck because i need to go to home depot or you know lowell's over the weekend and i want a truck that feels and drives like a car as opposed to a truck that feels and drives like a truck so maybe that's what's going on that's just a guess let me yeah. know in the comments below what you guys think why why is the ridge line all of a sudden after so many years expanding its sales and I think um, Honda, I mean, may, maybe their production numbers, you know, the factory capability was a little bit restricted. Yeah. And now they're actually increasing their uh, production. And um, it's really comfortable. It's That's one right. of the most comfortable. Yeah, it's uh, pick, fast. Pickups. Look, look yeah. 280 horsepower. Yeah. It's not, not bad. Not bad. All right. Um, All right. So but there is, the there's idea? more. Yeah. Um, so the, the most expensive starting price in the midsize segment is uh, this bad boy. Because the Gladiator starts at thirty-eight thousand seven seven five, and uh, with this is without destination, by the way. With destination, it's forty thousand five seventy. Oh, so ten thousand more than the old Ranger, and seven thousand more than the new Ranger. But there is something you have to say about the Gladiator. It's convertible. Exactly. <laughs> it's really convertible and it's truck. always four-wheel drive. It's always four-door, like these other ones. And uh, always has cruise control. And always has cruise control, potentially. <laughs> Sorry. And also, always has two solid axles. It's the only one here, because everybody else has independent front suspension. This is an old-school truck. For all you guys who are not in on the in-joke, uh, the reason I'm giving Andre a hard time is he just bought the new Colorado and forgot to take a box. <laughs> for cruise control. For cruise control. Yes. <laughs> so it's become the talk of the office and of the Internet, Andre. Yeah, you, you yeah I, I've... I've that started the bad trend. You've done a good job in creating a lot of buzz. <laughs> All right. But the bad buzz. So you said uh, we're going to hold on and talk about the Ranger. Yeah, the Raptor, dude. The Ranger uh, Raptor. That's right. S sorry. So uh, let me let me bring this up. Okay. Let me bring this up. So it's really the upper echelon, right? So if you look at the Ranger Raptor, let me show you on TFL truck uh, right here. So by the way... Um, let me see here. Here, okay. so it's kind of a, one of the images of the new Ranger Raptor. It's available in other markets. It's kind of a, you know what it is? Uh, Ford waved a wand yep. over the F-150 Raptor yep. and shrunk it. Oh, nice. So it became a Ranger a Raptor. A baby 
Baby truck Raptor. Yeah. So it doesn't have all of the features. Yeah, life valve shocks, nice. actually dual lockers front and rear. It's got wow. uh, exhaust valves for different sounds. It's got drive modes. And let's not go into that too much because we'll be publishing a video. It's that a whole did. video, yeah. Yeah, Andre did a really comprehensive video. Once again, it'll be up at all TFL soon where he talks about uh, the new Ranger Raptor compared to like the uh, TRD Pro and how it compares to all the kind of top versions or the top off-road versions of mid-sized trucks. Are you sitting down for the price? Okay, I'm sitting, yes. You I'm, are uh, sitting down. Uh, okay, I'm sitting down, good. <laughs> it starts with including this nation, $56,960, this bad boy. So uh, I, I, I have two thoughts when you yeah, said that. My, yeah. fir my first thought is, um, that's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot for of money for truck. a mid-sized truck. But then when you compare it to a regular Raptor, it seems like a bargain. So I guess it depends on your perspective, right? And when you compare well, it to a Raptor R, which is 110000 it seems like you can get two of those for one, one Raptor R. But then you get, what, only four cylinders? No, you have what, six. That's a twin turbo V6 and 405 horsepower. So you can get 12 cylinders if you get two of them compared to eight. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I'm just saying. Okay. But, like you said, how does, how does it compare? How does it compare? So um, it's really important because uh, I want to show you exactly, I think, what they were thinking at Ford when they priced it. I think they were looking at this. This truck also has 33s, like the Ranger Raptor. It's got a lot of capability, so dual the, lockers. We're looking at the GMC. GMC Canyon, AT4X, yeah. um, AT4X, which starts at, drum roll, 56995 Look, they undercut it by $35. And as configured, sixty-seven thousand. Uh, yeah. So these these prices can escalate. Oh yeah, I know. Uh, well, with, with packages, with winches. Well, I, I was thinking when you said fifty thousand ish for the Ranger Raptor, that can quickly go past sixty. Yeah, it and, can. And start. And, and I think it's touching will. seventy. I think it will. Yeah. Um, we're not talking about, of course, markups, which is a whole different video, right? Uh, then. The, the Gladiator, yeah, let's the gladiator. take a look at that, because yeah. the Rubicon... Yeah, how much is a Ruby Gladiator? Uh, starts at 52790 Yeah. But quickly, look at this, quickly goes up to 58000 with yeah. options. With options, yeah. You know, towing package, uh, a few other uh, items. And it's so, still a convertible. Uh, it's still a convertible and still dual lockers. Yeah. So, so um, then, uh, really quickly, I want to show you two less expensive options. Okay. Uh, Colorado ZR2, 48,295, okay. Compared to 56, now this looks affordable. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, this guy. The current one. Once uh, again. The current Taco TRD Pro at 47,000 before destination charges um, and about 49,000 with destination charges. So I guess right now, if you want kind of a king of the off-road truck segment, I would go for the ZR2 or the Pro. Hmm. Yeah, you know, I think the world is changing. Uh, you know, my job here at TFL, one of my jobs is to stick my finger in the wind and see which way it's blowing from. And for a long time, and I'll give you an example that, you know, the Raptor, the regular Raptor, uh, the F-150 Raptor was like the king of trucks. Uh, and whenever we did a Raptor video, people were like, wow, cool, cool, For cool. years, For years, actually, yeah. yeah. But remember when it first came out, it was in the 50s. It was like <laughs> the Range well, Raptor. Well, remember we bought a 2014 one. Yeah. That was our first uh, Raptor at TFL uh, Studios. That was 55000 Yeah. And the new Ranger is basically the same. Yeah, yeah. But, I, but I, think, I think people now are looking with the economy and after COVID and supply problems and, you know, how hard it is to get uh, a truck of any kind and, of course, dealer markups, right? I think people now are looking at value, right? Yeah. So I, th I think, I think the, 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 the needle has moved away from uh, the Hummer EVs of the world unless you're super rich, to more of the value. So uh, I think the, the, the interesting one may not be the, the Ranger Raptor. I mean, I'm not saying it's not going to be interesting, but I'm saying maybe the Tremor version of it. Is Which there a Tremor actually, version? No. There's no Tremor No, version. they removed the Tremor. Dang. So the, the Ranger is going to be XL, XLT, Lariat, uh -huh. and Raptor, Four. at least for now. FX4? FX4 package is there. But no Tremor. But, but there's a solution to this problem. Okay. High prices. Yeah. Skip cruise control. 
<laughs> yes, you'll save a whole bunch of money on that. <laughs> At least 300 bucks. <laughs> oh, jeez. But I'm just saying, I think, I think like, you know, like this one, if you, this one also was on Obtainium for a long time, right? And still it almost is. And dealers are marking the hell out of them. Yeah. I, I kind of feel like right now the, the play is the just the regular old off-road version. I think so. Yeah, and you get, I, you know, you get like 80% of that. You don't get like the funky uh, skid plate and you don't get the cool oh, sticker. the funky wheels, you know. Right. And, but you could add all that stuff on later. You, but look. 36? Yeah. That's already better. Yeah, exactly. That's 11,000 better. So what's what's like in the Ranger, what's the highest trim before, before and how much does that cost? Do we have, have they announced that yet? No, we don't okay. exactly we just know, know. We just know the beginning price. The beginning, the beginning prices. But of course, I would get, if I was getting a Ranger, yeah. XL FX4. Well, and you kind of you get a locker, right? And you kind of did that with your truck. Yeah, my trail boss. You got trail boss. It's more affordable. And you know, if you had if you had ticked the cruise control, it would be forty one thousand. Right. Yeah. So it, it's similar to this. So I guess I guess the good news is don't get don't you know don't panic. Uh, the yeah. Affordable trucks are still out there, uh, and I think uh, the manufacturers are quick to hopefully pivot. And if if dealers, you know, aren't doing crazy markups. We could actually have, you know, off-road trucks that are affordable versus, you know, very unaffordable. And obtainium versus unobtainium. Well, guys, head on over to All TFL where if you want to take a closer look at the new uh, Ranger, Andre's got a complete walk around and coming yeah. just a little bit later is going to be a comparison of it against the other vehicles in the segment. Um, and, you know, I think, like I said, I think what led the way was a Maverick. You know, that $19,000 starting price on the Maverick. Which is now 22. <laughs> yeah, I know. Blew everybody away. Yeah. Uh, there you have it. Let us know what you think. Yeah, see you guys next time. Ciao.